Hello, this is Chevy from 3D Classworks and in this tutorial, we will be walking through how to do a simple flow simulation inside SOLIDWORKS. Now, so where do you turn on the flow simulation product? Now, to turn on the product, all we need to do is click on the options button here, go to add-ins and make sure you check uh, the checkbox next to SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation 2009. Okay. So once the add-in has been loaded, you should be able to see a, fo a flow simulation tab listed on the command manager, which is uh, right on top of the screen as you see here. So to run a simulation, so for this, uh, we're going to just uh, check and simulate the airflow that goes around this space shuttle. So all we need to do is uh, call out the flow simulation wizard. And once the wizard is loaded, Okay, we will walk through a step-by-step -step process in setting up uh, this study. Okay, so to start off, we need to give this study a name. So for this case, let's call this Shuttle Flow. Okay, make sure you check on the configuration Create New. So you click on Next. And now in this next step, this is where we will assign units for our readings. So for example, if you want to go with SI units, make sure you select SI units and we can set the different units, for example, pressure and stress, we would like pascals, velocity, we, if you like it to be meters per second, we can just select it here. So to change units, all we need to do is just click on the drop-down menu and select the units that you require. Okay, so let's stick with the default meters per second. Okay, so after that, we go to next. Now, and this is where we specify whether we are doing an internal flow or external flow analysis. So, if I want external flow, click on external flow and click on exclude uh, cavities without flow conditions and exclude internal space. So, for reference axis, okay, make sure we select the axis where the flow is flowing from. So, if you take a look at the triad here, okay, there is a X axis pointing in the same axis of the uh, the direction of flight, so we just select the x-axis here. Now in the next portion, this is where we will specify a fluid that we want this uh, space shuttle to be flowing in. So for example, let's say if I want this uh, the medium to be air, we click on air, okay, click on add, and the gas has been added for you. So once you're done, we click on next, and next, Okay, and in this window here, this is where we will specify the velocity of the air that is flowing. So in a wind tunnel, uh, most of the time the space shuttle is stationary and we are blowing wind towards it. Okay, so uh, this is to simulate the speed of the aircraft that it is flying at. So for this case, if I want the flow to be flowing in the negative x direction, all we need to do is put a negative sign and let's say um, 150 meters per second. Okay. If I'm okay with this, hit next, okay, and finish this portion. Okay, so there you go. Okay, our study has been set up. So the next thing that we need to do is you, after you set up the study, you should be able to see a box that is around um, the space shuttle model. Okay, so um, this box is the the volume that will be computed by the software. Of course, for a big box, it will take a longer time to compute. Okay, so um, if we want to decrease the computing time, all we need to do is, um, under the flow simulation analysis tree, under computational domain, okay, this is where we can modify the size of the, the volume that we want to analyze. Okay, so let's take for example, I would like to analyze uh, 20 meters uh, in the x direction. Okay, let me just take a look oh, this is a bit too big let's call this let's make it 8 meters okay and for the y-axis we have a uh, minus 5 meters to 5 meters okay take note that all these values are taken with reference from the origin that we have selected okay so there you go we have got the domain set up so if you are done we hit ok Okay, now that we are done, okay, the next thing we would like to do is we we'll get this. We we'll like to set some goals for the software. So let's take for example, I would like to 
um, uh, I would like to specify a direction of force. Okay, so we just set the goals here by inserting a global goal. Okay, so let's say I would like to get the Y component of force. Okay, this one will indicate the lift that is acting on the aircraft. And then after that, if you want to find out what's the drag of the aircraft, we go to insert global goals. And I put to, uh, let's say, X component of force. Okay, so once we are done, we hit OK. Okay, so with that, um, the study setup has been complete. Okay, we can run our analysis. So you see this run button right on top here. Click on run. Okay, and you can get the software to run the analysis. Okay, when the run, uh, when the uh, when the the analysis is being solved, you should be able to see this mesh generation window. Okay, that shows you the process, and the number of iterations will be listed here. Okay, so this ends part one of the flow analysis um, video. Thank you for watching.